In this video, we're going to be breaking down this really simple outdoor sink build that was shared by Wynn. This is built entirely out of one inch EMT conduit, and this is really awesome. I don't think we've really seen a build like this before, but I think it's a great idea, especially if you need a just utility sink and just kind of a quick solution. And this is really awesome, and it's made, like I said, with one inch EMT conduit, and then the fittings that are holding the pieces of conduit together are from Maker Pipe, which is our company. We manufacture those steel clamps in South Carolina here, and then ship those all all over the country. But here we can see it's just a simple frame and it's just supporting a metal sink that he's got here. And basically he just customized the dimensions to fit the sink, uh, kind of the lip of the sink exactly. So the whole thing just kind of sits and rests down in there and looks like a really awesome solution. And uh, this is just really cool. So let's just break down this frame. We'll go through and we'll talk about the, the conduit and connectors and everything like that as we go through it. And here we got the, the main frame. It's really just one big rectangle. And basically to make a rectangle like this, it's pretty simple to do using a specific connector from the maker pipe system. And that would be the 90 degree connector, which is being used in all four of the corners here. You can see, you can't really see those back ones, but uh, it's the same connector. It's just a 90 degree connector. And that allows you to basically have the vertical piece of conduit that runs continuously through it. And then there's two pieces of conduit that terminate in the connector and those go from one side to the other or to the front to back, as we can see on these side pipes. And then the same thing back there where it terminates in the connector. And then it's going to be the same thing up here where you've got the piece that terminates in the 90, goes to the other side and terminates in that 90 degree connector on the other side as well. Same thing back here, terminates. And then there's a piece in the back that goes from one side to the other and then front to back here as well. Oh, and I didn't put the one back here, front to back, or side to side, rather. And then, of course, the 90-degree connectors back there. So really eight 90-degree connectors to make this main rectangular frame. And like I said, he just customized the dimensions of this to hold the sink perfectly. And you can cut empty conduit, even though it's a steel tubing, you can just use a handheld tool. It's a rotating pipe and tube cutter. You just tighten that onto the piece of conduit, rotate it around a few times. The cutter wheel will keep cutting through the conduit, and then you tighten the knob a couple more times, keep rotating around, and you just keep doing that until you cut all the way through the piece of conduit. And you can customize dimensions. We've seen people make ginormous things, make really small things. That's the beauty of building with conduit and connectors. You can customize the dimensions really easily and make whatever it is that you want to make, uh, you know, just with those custom dimensions. And then we got another uh, couple of connectors here. We can see that he's using the T connectors here, going from the front to back. I imagine this is just done to add some bracing. And this is very similar to the 90 degree connector and the way that it functions. Because there's a piece of conduit that runs continuously through the top half of it, as we can see there, and that's very similar to the 90 up here. The only difference is there's only one piece of conduit that terminates in the connector and goes to the back instead of one that goes to the front or, or from side to side as well. And of course, it's just the same thing here. And I'm not going to mark anymore because there's already a bunch on here, but it's just the same thing mirrored in the back. And then it looks like he did that same technique up here with the T connectors to just add another brace from side to side in the front. And again, it's just the piece of conduit terminating in there and then going from one side to the other. As far as I can see, that's all the connectors that he used and all of the conduit. That is everything all together. And then it just supports the sink. And then, of course, it doesn't even have any plumbing, it looks like, for the the um, the kind of the out or the exit of the, the gray water. Looks like it just goes down into these buckets, which is nice and simple. Then it looks like there is some plumbing and some different things here for the actual water that comes out of the sink. But a really nice solution for an outdoor utility sink. You could do the same thing indoors if you wanted to as well. And uh, you don't have to sink a lot of money into it <laughs> uh, because it's... <laughs> because it's just, you know, some off-the-shelf conduit and then not that many connectors as well. So really great build. Thanks so much, Wynn, for sharing this. We love seeing it. And I'll link this post down below if you guys want to check it out and see the photo. Or if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down in the comments on YouTube here, and I'll respond with as much information as I can give. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.